we are ready to go. All right. Welcome to Sunday School. Today is May 9th and it's Mother's Day. So we all are celebrating that today. Just a few reminders to raise your hand if you have a question and to sit quietly unless we call on you and have fun. So we ready for our game, Kellyanne? Yeah, it is a gratitude scavenger hunt. Um, we'll do an abbreviated version since we have one player. Or do we have four players? Four players. Okay. Reed, you want to play? I'm good. Okay. Uh, all right. So these are things that you can find um, maybe in the room that you're in or in your house or your office. Um, so the first thing, if you could find something that makes you happy. <clears throat> my husband is on the couch <laughs> <laughs> your dogs oh yeah your dogs oh that's such a fluffy dog Sophia oh Frankie come here come here I'll show you my dog hold on Frankie, come here. Sophia what's your dog's name <clears throat> Sunny. Sunny. Sunny and Frankie. <laughs> Sunny. Sunny, look, here's Frankie. <laughs> this is mine, my children. Aww. Is that a, a golden doodle, Sophia? Yeah. Oh my gosh, is it a puppy? So big. Um, it turned one in April. Oh, so still a puppy. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's really big. Okay, your so only pet, Sophia? Yeah. Okay, Are you ready for the next one? Yep. Okay, so the next one is something that smells amazing. Oh. Okay, fine. Ooh, look at those pretty flowers. Ooh, are those for ah, are those for Mother's Day? Yeah. They are so pretty. I bet you they smell great. Oh, Oreos. <laughs> it's chocolate. It's my chocolate bar. Boo, yeah. yeah. Hide in your desk. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you have, Kellyanne? The candle that Reed gave me for Mother's Day. Oh. Very yeah. pretty. Okay, um, something that makes you feel safe. Hmm. Makes me feel safe. That's a good one. Hmm. I'm not at my home, so. You're stuffy. My Bible. I do I have my Bible. Bible too. I have my Bible from when I was a kid. A precious moments one that I've had since I was teeny tiny. Oh, cute. And I, mine's my dog. Uh, okay, so next one is something that makes a beautiful sound. I don't have any instruments. Uh, <laughs> Can you all hear that before I even get there? Very good, very good. <laughs> I know, I've wind chimes too with their outside. I wanted to say some people think that's a beautiful sound, but I always take them down when I come up here because they're very loud. So Granny always has them hanging on the porch and they kind of drive me nuts. Sophia, can you play the piano? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yes, a little tune. Okay, and so the last one is- Well, she's gonna play something on the piano. Oh, on. sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
Vacation Bible School music. I just, every year VBS puts out new songs, Christian songs, and, you know, I, I do listen to it ahead of time. And then when I get to VBS and hear that live band play, I always get goosebumps. It's always so nice. So that's the only music I have here right now. <laughs> Sophia, that was awesome. I'm always jealous when people can play the piano because I can't. Okay, and then the last one, find something that's your favorite color. Yellow? Yellow is mine. Yellow. All right, when Sophia's done, I'll share mine. Is it purple? purple. Did yeah. you paint that yourself? Yeah. Nice job, Sophia. You are talented in so many ways. Okay, what, what about I... you, Kellyanne? Oh, I forgot. Red? red mug. Okay, my favorite color is just like Sophia. It's purple. And I got to paint my wall at work purple. I don't know if you can tell, but. I have a purple wall in my office. So that Did you paint that before you just moved in again? Or you painted it before? Um, Gary painted it for me right before I moved in. Very cool. All right. All right. So are we going to go right to the video? We could. Do you have anything you want to say about it, Miss Julie? So I had to open it here. Um, in this video, we are learning today about the post-resurrection, the Great Commission story. Do you know anything about the Great Commission story, Sophia? No? Well, you're going to learn about it today. So in this story, sorry, I'm just going to scroll down on Brian's computer. I'm sorry. Um, we know that Jesus spreads God's word during his life on earth, and he only preached in holy spaces and on hillsides. And at that time, many, many people thought um, if you spent time on a mountain that you were actually, because you were higher up elevation, you were actually closer to God. And this is the last time he is in the presence of his disciples where he gives them instructions to keep to continue to carry on his work on earth yep he wants his disciples to be ready to follow his example so in the video let's watch what happens to people when they first trust jesus Severanto. Vasco de Flasco. Ah! <sighs> 
te para on, en a baki para ponva, grande de en a falona ponga, en a pon, en a gona mana. Uh, a blaskido! Mahakos en kafuto se! Gonda, to the Manado, Parado. Actually, that warmed my heart. Um, so what happened when people trusted Jesus? I loved on the map when they showed the disciples all spreading out, going around the world. And then they each took part in doing something. So in the video, what happened when people trusted Jesus? Was there a change in them, like on the screen? Yeah, they got colored in. They got colored in. I love that about this, these videos. So then you knew that they trusted Jesus and they believed. Jesus told the disciples where they should go and what they should do, but they had to figure out the details. Do you like to be told what to do in a situation or do you like to figure things out? What do you think, Sophia? Figure things out. Figure things out and do it your own way. I like to be given a little bit of direction and then I can take off and do it. And at my work, Pastor Zach at the Ber Berkeley campus always says, this is yours. You do with it what you can. He lets me just make the decisions. And I think that's awesome. <sighs> do you, um, or Jesus trusted his disciples. How do you feel when someone trusts you? Kim, you wanna answer that first? How do you feel when someone trusts you? Um, it's like giving me wings to fly. You know, That's an like, awesome example. Sophia, do you have an answer? Does it make you feel special? Yeah, when someone trusts you, it makes me feel important. 
All right. So, anybody have anything else to share about the video? Uh, I think uh, you know, that's something I need to learn more about too, is just the stories between this one, which even though this story is called the Great Commission, Jesus, uh, it's called the Ascension. And you know, Jesus goes to heaven, finally, no one ever sees him again. And from this point, now all of these disciples travel around the world, spreading the news of Jesus and trying to make other disciples and baptizing them. And there are so many stories in the Bible to read just about that. And so I feel like that's, that would be good Bible study for me because it's stories that I don't know as well. Good stepping stone into that. Yes. Hi. So we were, I think Miss Julie had made a couple slides. And I'm just going to share them really quick because they look really nice. So, um, so the first part we were going to talk about going on an adventure and going on hikes and using maps, just like the disciples went on an adventure to share God's word. So I just put a map on there of a different park so that you could see the different ways. And then Miss Kim and I go on a lot of hiking with our family. So I posted some pictures to show all you guys. Do you go on hikes, Sophia? Do you ever go hiking or go walks in the woods? No. No? It's so fun. There's so many places even just near us within, a, within 10 minutes of us that we can just drive to and walk and explore. Sophia, do you ever go to Belle Isle with? Do you ever go to Belle Isle uh, with your parents? Um, yeah, yeah. You know, there's yeah. actually good little trails on the island. Uh, one is near. There's a uh, um, a lighthouse, and it's near like the. I guess it would be the northeast tip, and uh, you can park, and you, there's trails that you can go back in there. That's oh, pretty close to you. Oh yeah, Belle Isle is close to you. I forget. Yep, Sophia lives on that side of town. So yeah, Very well, cool. hiking is a great way to spend family time and appreciate nature, which as we all know is God's creation. Exactly. All right. So I think we can skip our announcements, but maybe we could go do the our Bible verse. All righty. We will wrap it up. Pull up the slide. Is it still sharing or no? No. Okay, here we go. Try again. Here we go. All right, can we read this together, guys? Jesus said to them, go into, into the, all the world and, and proclaim, proclaim the good news to the, to the whole creation. creation. And that is Mark chapter 6, verse 15. So he just wants the disciples to go into all the world and everyone to do that and share the good news. So that it can spread because one person tells someone and then they tell someone and then it just goes on and on. So we're going to close in prayer today. Sophia, do you have anyone that you want us to pray for today? Can think of anyone? Anyone else? I would like us to pray for a church member. Her name is Kelly and she recently moved to an adult um, living facility. Um, because she has special needs and this is her first time li not living with mom and dad. And so just prayers for her as she transitions and has roommates and an apartment for herself now. Very cool. Anyone else? All right, let's close our eyes and put our hands together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for trusting us with the important job of telling others the great news of Jesus's love for everyone including them. Help us get ready to go, 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 be your disciples. This week, we ask that you lift up in prayer 
a church member named Kelly, help her through her transition of living with others without mom and dad, because that is a big change. We're off to tell good news. When we love and care for others, we tell good news. When we tell the truth, we share good news. When we talk about Jesus, we share good news. We know you're with us all the way. Amen. Thank you for joining us, Sophia. It was nice to see you this week. We'll give mom a big hug for Mother's Day. <laughs> she was out. <laughs>